Hello, Chris. Ready for Rap Garden Club. As he said, the name is Tucker. Tell you about Bell Bicycle Store. Don't know the course quest. Video. My step is to play around. You plan to sell. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Craig Rose, right? We're Jonathan, Pennsylvania. Jonathan. Oh, yeah, Jim. Always a privilege to speak with you. Oh, I'm so glad you called. What's up? Jim, you should know, and your staff should know, the Investing Club is making me a more mature and a more disciplined investor. That's so what we thank want. you all. Thank you. That's yeah. what we want. You know, I love how the club marries the technical, fundamental, and the equally and important emotional aspects of this. So. Then we're getting it right for you, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for all the hard work. Um, hey, real quick, what do you think about this uh, company that's usually a steady Eddie Tyler Technologies? That's a very well-run company. Uh, and I got to tell you, that government business is a good business, and I think it's a buy. I like it that much. Let's go to Shara in Pennsylvania. Shara. Hi, Jim. How are you? Thanks for taking my call. Oh, you're, you're quite, quite your welcome. daughter last week, too. Oh, to it's so happy. We're so happy. Thank you so much. We're so happy. So I've been a long-term shareholder with Cisco, and I don't know if I should sell and get into something else. Or just no, you're fine. It. I mean, I like the Splunk deal. I think it's going to give a couple of quarters of some pretty good lift, and you got a 3% yield, so I would certainly hold on to that. And thank you for mentioning, Emma. It really means a lot to me. Let's go to Dave in Illinois. Dave! Dr. Kramer, happy new beginning of the 20th season of Mad Money with Jim Kramer, my good mad friend. We've been around. Thank you, Dave. We've been around. How can I help you? Jim, this stock provides end-to-end -end solutions and e-commerce for large parcel goods. GigaCloud Technologies is a horse, up some 50% on the air. It seems to me to be a hidden gem, Jim. Dave, I've got to tell you, I do not know GigaCloud. Dave has stumped me. Dave from Illinois has stumped me. I'm going to get Ben Stoto down. Get Ben Stoto down here right now. We're not going to let this happen. We have more work to do, and we will get it done. Let's go to Charles in Texas. Charles. Hi, Jim. Charles Riley calling from Huntsville, Texas. All I right, Huntsville, Texas. About... Not, not uh, the other one. The other Huntsville. Right, the other Huntsville. Yeah. Yeah, Huntsville, gotcha. Texas. Right. I want to know what you think about a stock that caught my eye that seems to have some good upside. That stock is KGS, Kodak Gas Services. Well, let's ring the register. That thing is just, uh, no, no. I mean, I cannot count. I can't, that stock's going up too much. I am ka that one. I'm ka it. Let's go to, to uh, CJ in Florida. CJ. Hey, so yeah, Jim. Thank you, CJ. I'm What's up? I'm viewer of yours, and thank you for sharing all your wisdom. And thank you. And helping people gain wealth and keep it. Thank so, you. I wanted to get your take on a stock that I think you uh, were in favor of just uh, maybe a month ago, PLTR. Palantir, yeah, I like it. I thought they had a good quarter. They have a good defense business. I like, uh, I like IT defense work, and they've owned that franchise. It's very, very positive. Let's go to Mary Jo in New York. Mary Jo. Mary Jo? Yeah? You're up. It's Jim. Oh. Booyah! Booyah, Jim Kramer from the uh, horse raciest little town in the great northeast, Saratoga Springs, New York. Oh, I love Saratoga. My I'm question. on Adirondack 46, or people don't know about that. Many in winter. Uh, my question concerns United Airlines. Uh, bought some in November. It's up about 25%. Your thoughts? Uh, I think you got a nice gain there, and I would do some ka -chinging. I think that's terrific. It's an airline. All airlines are trades. They're all trades. Char uh, Marcus in Georgia. Marcus. Yeah, booyah, Jim. Booyah. Booyah, Marcus. All right. Thank you uh, for taking my call. I'm calling for the stock. Uh, it's been being earning the past few quarters. What, what are your thoughts on Vita Coco? I think Vita Coco is a good stock. I'd like them to come on. I mean, that's a nice little story. And you get a nice little story like that, it could be like a Celsius. You never know. You just keep going up, up, up. Let's have them on. Let's go to Julie in Minnesota. Julie. Hi, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Of course. So I started trading Fastly back in late 2020, and I held on to it then, and then the stock started to fall, so I purchased more over the past few years to average down my cost. Right. Uh, that's not one of my faves. What can I say? I'm not going to endorse that stock. I didn't think the last couple quarters were that good. Maybe someone takes them over, but I see nothing that makes me want to buy it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of the lightning round.
Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, how did home builders thrive in a rate rot environment when we return? Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. 